are now to the face off between Rick Snyder and Mark Schauer. The two have agreed to a live town hall format to air right here on Detroit Public TV and around the state. It will happen on Sunday, October 12th at Wayne State University with an audience of undecided voters. Stephen and Nolan will moderate questions. I will handle audience questions. It will last one hour and it is not technically being called a debate. Don't so a deb don't call it a debate. We're calling so it a smack now. <laughs> <All right. laughs> we don't want to call it that or a grudge match. Um, but I, I guess I want to, as much as we can, let people in on what this process has been like the last week in, in trying to get these sides to come together for this town hall. And I'm going to let you start, Stephen. Well, I mean, I th I first, I want to give credit to both sides who, who were at least open enough to, to the idea uh, that they could sit at the table and negotiate this, you know, the, the, whatever the differences were uh, between them uh, so that we could get a, an actual meeting between the two and you can call it whatever you want, debate, smackdown, town hall. Uh, um, at, at the same time, I'm still a little mystified at what sort of kept them apart in the first place. I mean, there, there was nothing that came up in these negotiations that seemed to me a, a giant deal breaker. Uh, and it, but it did sort of reflect that the way campaigns think about this is as entirely a part of their campaign strategy. They are not thinking about it in terms of uh, voter interest. Uh, and so uh, that takes a back seat to these sort of very minor uh, uh, advantage or disadvantage calculations that they're doing for their candidates. That's the problem that we have here in Michigan. That's not the way this should get decided. Nolan, how would you explain how this well, all got done? Well, as Steve said, the, the debates are always a strategic calculation. The negotiations are always difficult. Everybody is on each side is looking to see who's going to get an advantage here uh, and, and is it possible for me to get some kind of edge. They, they're a delicate thing and they can, they can become a real disaster for a, for a campaign or they can become, a, you know, a, an asset and, and you know, the negotiations are all a part of positioning that. I think in this case, um, you know, the, 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 there wasn't a whole lot of trust between the two campaigns, which is frequently the case. Um, but, you know, the governor, the governor staff was a little worried about giving um, Mark Schauer a format to repeat sort of the talking points of the attack ads and to start raising, you know, past issues, uh, gotcha issues, uh, the Rich Baird stuff and what, and what have you. And they were looking for a format that would allow them to talk about the next four four years. And in, in, in Shower's case, I think a debate, uh, you know, they're, they're close in the polls and they think, well, maybe if they can get on stage and in some way embarrass the governor, they can score some, some more points. So there's that delicate dance to sort of keep the debate where both sides want it to be. Well, I think the most important part is that we're going to have both of these gentlemen on the same stage answering questions. And I do like the element of an audience. I do like the element mm -hmm. of an undecided sitting there and then they get their opportunity to ask questions too. But both of you are going to be doing a, a lot of the questioning. So when you get together, and we're actually all three of us going to get together and take a look at some of those issues, how do you decide how you go about moderating a debate? Oh, we flip coins. And, yeah. You know, it's totally You pass random. notes, flip coins. <laughs> just kind of like, you're next. You ask a question. And we do, we do pass notes during the debate. We We've do. done this together many times. Yeah. And, you know, something will come up and, and Steve will slip a note or I will say, oh, we got to follow that up or, you know, let's move to this question. Something will, will be said that, that needs clarification or, or leads to another question. But, uh, you know, it, I like this format. Um, you know, people, some people, folks will complain, well, it's not a traditional debate where they're sitting side by side. And I you think get that's a what's minute. actually really interesting <clears throat> about it. Too. There's no red lights. There's no Positive. one minute rebuttal. Right. There's no, now you get this next question and two minutes here. Yeah, and that, that it will be harder to manage, I think, in some ways than. Who's going to be in charge of that? The, the, the debates <laughs> where, you know, the buzzer is in charge more than, than the moderators. But I think. Uh, yeah, I think the hope here is that you get some real exchanges uh, between the candidates, maybe even about the ideas that they have. Um, uh, a looser format, I think, serves voters much better than than the other the format does. I'm not sure. I'm not sure it serves the campaigns uh, as well. I was surprised that they both were as enthusiastic as they were. Mm -hmm. But it could be, you know, it could be some good theater if, if they're. Um, on stage, actively engaged, and addressing each other and the question rather than just repeating talking points. It could be a very productive session. Do you think this is the only 
debate or town hall that we're going to see. It's the only time we'll see these two gentlemen on stage together before the election. Running out of time, I would expect that it, it would be unless Shower decides to show up at one of the town halls the governor is holding. He's invited him. What would I don't the danger know. be for him in that? Well, the, or the positive, I guess. He's, he's walking into the governor's mayor, right? lair. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're playing on the road then with a um, sort of a Homer referees and all of that. I think it would be, I think it would be very unlikely. Now, they may do the Econ Club. Uh, the governor has agreed to do the Econ Club on the 13th. Showers put a whole lot of conditions in place that are untenable uh, to the club and to uh, and to the governor, but I expect he'll come around and do that one as well. But the main point here, I think, that you have made a lot of times, Stephen, is this still doesn't answer the larger question that we'll have after this election and moving forward of a debate commission or something like that in Michigan to make sure that debates like this happen all the time. Yeah, I mean, I think the negotiations uh, reflect uh, the, the, that bigger problem that, that it's really about the campaigns uh, and not about voter interest. And I think you do need some independent voice uh, to, to champion that consistently. Uh, and, and I, you know, I don't think it's that hard to, to do. I mean, you look at what they're doing in Indiana, I mean, it really didn't, didn't take that much effort to get there. Nolan and I uh, made an effort a couple of years ago to try to get it. I, th I feel like we're close. Uh, it's something that could happen. Uh, and it would really change, I think, the, the whole tenor of the way these go each time. And after negotiating this one, Nolan, would you be in for those kind of conversations? Well, I think it's, there's a lot less negotiation in that situation because yeah. sometime in January, before the November election campaign, uh, the debate commission says there's going to be two Senate debates here and there's going to be two gubernatorial debates here, this is the time and place, whoever wins the nomination, we expect you to show up. So there won't be that that bargaining, that give and take. Uh, the debates be set, the candidates don't show up, I think would be at a real disadvantage. Yeah. All right, well, the Snyder Shower Town Hall, October 12th, 6 p.m. at Wayne State. You can watch it right here on Detroit Public Television.